Hi, in the previous video we have created a test layout and in that uh, video we have inserted all our elements. Right now in this video we will be styling those elements. So let's start with the top part. We have a nice slideshow, yes it's good, but we, it, uh, we see that it has no spacing above and below, so let's create some spacing for that and also let's have a different background for this uh, particular part let's start editing I'm already in my layout editor screen for this layout I'm clicking wrapper CSS and in the window it opens I'm selecting my heading because I want the background but have a spacing. I'm saving it. Now I'm saving the layout to trigger the CSS creation tool. I'm refreshing my page. Okay, it has a nice spacing here. So let's have a different background. I'm again clicking to wrap with CSS. As you can see, we can upload an image and assign our layout easily, or we can select a pattern. Let's select a random pattern. Let's say 29. And save it. Save the layout, trigger the CSS creator. Refresh the page. Okay. It didn't look nice. Let's change it. I'm coming back to Repro CSS and select a pattern. I think this would be nice. Okay, it's a white bordered square. I'm saving, saving the layout to trigger the CSS again. I'm refreshing my page. Okay, I have a very pale background here. Now let's do some more CSS edits for this part, the four columns part. I'm coming to my four columns part. Right now I'll just click container CSS. I'll just want a border, one pixel, a gray color. I can use the color selector, but I just know my color code. I want a solid border. I save it. Save layout, refresh my screen. Okay, we have the border. Again, the border is sticking to my images, which means I need some padding. I go into my container CSS, I give some padding to top 10 pixels, save it, save layout, and here you go. Nice. We have a cool border between our items. Okay. Now let's make some more CSS edits to our uh, text elements, menus, etc. But for that, I'll just need some more time and we will be having them edited in our next video. Thank you for watching this video and I hope you will enjoy the next video also.